Nani Darwish grew up being taught to hate at home, at school, and in her religion. Then she learned the truth and rejected Islam. She's with us to tell us how jihad now threatens America. Now, what is jihad? We hear this phrase all the time in the news. What exactly does this mean? Jihad is a religious holy war against non-believers. Non-believers in Islam. Yes, in Islam. And it's, uh, it's thought as a permanent war institution against uh, Jews, Christians, and pagans. So your father was killed in the name of jihad then. Tell me about that. Uh, my father headed the Egyptian military in Gaza to actually try to destroy Israel. And Israel wanted to kill my father. They had several attempts on his life. And one, one night, a few months before my father was killed, uh, Israeli commanders managed to come into our heavily guarded home. But they only found women and children. And they left us unharmed. A couple of months later, um, uh, my father was assassinated in the first targeted assassination uh, in Gaza in 1956. And you were eight years old. I at was the time. eight years old at the time. All right, so your mother then is raising four little girls and a little boy by herself. Exactly. What does that mean in Islam? Uh, there is very little respect for a home run by a, a woman. And she became extremely depressed because of all the, the restrictions that existed at that time to women's uh, uh, going out. A woman is not allowed to date or, uh, or have even fun without a husband. So really, your, your mom's life ended yes. at the same time. It she ended. was not allowed to really have her own life. And doesn't Islam set up this system yes. through polygamy, through violence toward women? Explain that. The mar uh, controls uh, women's liberties. They're, it's very oppressive for women. And, for example, it gives the right for a man to marry up to four women. The, mar the Muslim marriage contract by itself is unfair for women because in it men have three more spaces to fill out by three more women. That's just hard to believe and that sets up the women against, against each, each other. other. True? Exactly. And uh, th this is something that's so common in the Middle East that women uh, are very hostile to each other. They don't trust each other. They don't form organization to better themselves or have common causes to fight for. And this is all because of the problem of polygamy. Uh, and polygamy, even though not every Muslim man, of course, has a second or third or fourth wife, but it's quite common. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but it's in the back of the mind of every Arab woman, every Muslim woman, that in time of trouble, my husband can solve a problem by marrying somebody else without even my knowledge. So there's no solid family structure. There is no solid family uh, like the Judeo-Christian family structure, which is one man, one woman. A marriage is regarded as a holy matrimony between one man, one woman. Well, there was an interesting twist that happened that really led you out of this life and has led you onto the path that you are. And after the break, we're going to find out more. Once again, the book is called Now They Call Me Infidel, Why I Renounced Jihad for America, Israel, and the War on Terror. When we come back, you may think that the rising tide of Islamic fundamentalism just doesn't affect you. Well, we have some news for you. You need to stay with us. We'll be right back. There's something every American must understand, after 9-11 especially, that there is nothing that America has or has not done that causes terrorism. 